President Obama has said to us, American citizens, that we do not have a spending problem with our federal government. Well, here tonight, he laid out a series of things that are spending problems that we have, and, and the president is determined to grow the United States government. When he does that, all the growth that we would have in our government spending comes from borrowing. And we're right now borrowing 40 cents out of every dollar that we're spending. The president's pushing for more. It results in tax increases. And we have to stop the irresponsible spending. It's the most important piece of this message that uh, I, I glean from listening to the president. We don't have a spending problem? Yes, we do, Mr. President. And he went on down the line a number of things also that I disagree with, and, uh, and that is the immigration issue. He's pressing Congress to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, we know that means suspend the rule of law and grant people the objective of the reason that they violated the law in the first place, and that's to expand the dependency class in America because it's good for him and good for Democrats politically. And uh, so they need to come with a logical approach to immigration, this is not it, and the promise of enforcement cannot be believed by a president that refuses to enforce current immigration law. Next is, uh, we have the gun grabbers that have, have decided that they're going to try to bring uh, Second Amendment legislation through this Congress, and I will defend the Second Amendment. We've got a right to keep and bear arms. If we could solve the problem of Sandy Hook and never see that again, that's a different story. But their proposals do not solve that tragedy and they don't prevent a future tragedy. But another tragedy would be if this government continues to overspend and we become like Spain and eventually like Greece, where debt and deficit consumes everything. At that point, our safety and our freedom and our national defense are all at risk. So here's my proposal, Mr. President, and to the American people. Let's move a balanced budget amendment to the United States Constitution out of the House and out of the Senate. Let's send it to the states for ratification so that the Congress is disciplined and the constitutional amendment would prohibit this spending addiction from sending us further into debt. If we can do that, then we can make some agreements on sequestration, some agreements on a continuing resolution, and some agreements on a debt ceiling. Without a constitutional amendment, we never work our way out of this spending crisis. That's the message I have for the American people on this State of the Union night.